What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. Just ducking through trees. Um, once again, it's an after work, short session, in and out kind of thing. Uh, I've got maybe an hour if, I, if I'm quick. What my intention is today is to show you how to catch perch on a Texas rig and to pr disprove a few myths about the Texas rig itself. I think a lot of people assume that a Texas rig is big hooks, big baits, heavy-ish weights, dragging them around the bottom, um, and you know, not a good fish catching, um, not a good numbers of fish catching technique. What my attempt is going to be today is to disprove that, that you can finesse it right down, you can fish with light weights, smaller hooks, smaller baits, and it's a deadly way of catching fish. So uh, I'm going to not mess around, I'm all set up and ready to go. I have about a two gram Texas weight on, uh, a bead, a size four hook, and a Z Man TRD bug. So we're going to start, I sort of know where I'm going to start. There's a little bridge I was fishing the other day, and I know it holds a few fish. We're going to start there and see if we can get into them straight away. Thank you, man. What is it? Oh, the illustrated angler. What is it? The illustrated angler. Illustrated angler. Yeah. Subscribe. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Oh, I just pulled it out once, gob. Oh, and again. Oh, I thought it was over a snag. I was trying to tease it out. It was in a fish's mouth. Yes. That's a nice fish. Lovely stuff. And there we go. There it is. That's what we wanted. Chunky little perch. Look at the fins on it. Bright red. And there's my bait in its gob. Get this hook out. Do, 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 do. Oh, I wanted that. There we go. There's my Texas rigged TRD bugs. And there's the, the Texas weight. And there's a the fish. Lovely stuff. Woohoo! Okay, well, that didn't take long at all. Second spot, probably been fishing less than 15 minutes. I'm not staying in any one place for any amount of time because uh, I've only got about an hour. So there's no point in wasting my time in the wrong spot. So I'm just bouncing into places where I know I've caught perch before, I know they can live. And um, yeah, that second spot I had, I had one on that I didn't realize was on and didn't give it a, a decent enough hook set. And then I had that one I landed. So uh, bounce on to the next spot and uh, see what we can bump into. Look at that, sight fished it. 
I doubt the GoPro got any of that, but I don't care. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a lovely chunky fish. Once again, TID Bugs doing the business. This fish has got two leeches on it. I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro. Two little leeches just above its eye. See if I can knock them off. Yeah, I think I got rid of them. Just about held onto it. Okay, right. That's fish number two. Again, a lovely chunky little perch. Super bright red fins on the Texas rig. And I'm going to show you just where I caught it from. Okay, just down here, as you can see, there's a lovely little clear spot. Now, this is where a Texas rig really comes into its own because you can't, it's, it's such a small spot in the weed, you can't fish anything else through it. A crankbait is going to get caught in on its weed. A shad, all right, you could probably fish a little shad, but you're going to be in and out of it so quickly that you're not actually effectively fishing it. Now, I saw that spot, I didn't see the fish. I knew there would probably be a perch or two around. I cast the back end of it and I ticked back along it. When I saw the fish, it swam out from underneath here. It looked at my bait, I twitched it. It looked at my bait, I twitched it again, whack, and it had it. That is brilliant. And that is where a Texas rig is absolutely deadly. Another perch looking at it. Right, I reckon I can catch this fish. turned on it two or three times now just can't get him to commit either he's been a bit lazy or he's been pricked already and he's been caught or he doesn't like what I'm doing one more go at him and I'll leave him alone because I don't think he's gonna I haven't caught him in three or four passes throw I'm not gonna catch him I don't think No, you don't want it. Okay, so I have up to now landed two fish. Had one on and off, uh, didn't even know it was on. Loads of follows. Um, this is the fish just swimming up to the bait and looking at it, following it right to my feet, but not actually committing. Um, it makes me wonder if they're not really on it. Because even the fish I landed didn't really get a good bite. So I'm gonna keep looking. It looks like there's a rainstorm coming, so I'm gonna give it maybe 10, 15 minutes and then call it a day. What are you videoing? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 are you still videoing? Yeah, yeah. What, have you got used to this channel? Yeah, yeah. Well, same yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Get me in the vlog! <laughs> Go on in. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Long one. Things you see when you're fishing in a city, eh? Um, anyway, I'm going to quickly actually show you the rig I'm using. Uh, bit of grass on the lens there. Um, it's a size 4 hook with a silicon stopper. This is a Z-Man Cross. Again, I don't know what the color is. Then we've got a, a bead above that, just to protect the knot. Well, not just to protect the knot, to protect the knot and to do this. Listen, hear that clicking? When your, your weight slides down and hits that bead, it makes a clicking sound. Evidently, that's meant to imitate um, the sound of a crayfish sort of nipping its claws um, but I think it could just be a rat or it could be anything that just sort of attracts the fish to where your bait is uh, and that's it I very often don't have as you will see 
there's no stopper above the weight uh, and that's that choice i feel like it gives a better um confidence to the bike fish tend to pick it up and move away with it and you tend to convert more bites today it, it, i don't think it really makes a difference i don't think the fish are really on it but i have had two and i've had a number of follows uh, i'm going to run up to one more spot because as you can see it's getting a bit darker now i'm not sure if that's the time or that uh we've got this if you see these clouds it looks a bit ominous um i think we could have a bit of rain coming so before that hits i'm going to run up to just above where i started have a couple of casts under a, a spot where I, i've seen some fish recently and then i'm going to call it a day um so hopefully We'll nick one more fish just before we leave. Be a perch. Be a perch. Be a perch. Oh, it is. It's a nice perch. Get that net out. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on. Stay on. <laughs> Get it on that. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, last spot. And it was genuinely going to be my last cast. And as that. 34 centimetres, lovely little perch. Well, lovely big-ish perch, I'll take that. Uh, like I said, I've only fished for an hour. Um, Texas rig only. We catch a small fish, and it catches the bigger ones. Brilliant, I'm gonna slip it back, and I'm gonna get one out of here. Right, I really should be going home now, but I can't resist one more cast since I had that fish on the first chuck in the swim. Um, I probably spoke to any other fish that were in, that were in here, but it's worth a quick go. This time I'll have the net ready. Well, that would have been a pike. I think that is a good place to call it a day. The dirty two feet cucumber. I don't quite know how you go from such a high high to such a low low in a matter of one cast. Um, first cast in that swim, I had a lovely perch, 44 centimetres. Absolutely walloped the TRD bugs, which I switched back to, by the way. Um, and then I thought, ah, uh, one more cast, just to see if there's any more there. Lovely firm thump, set the hook to nothing, <laughs> and the pike um, has inevitably finished my day's fishing. Um, but wow, um, what I, you know, like I said, I've literally fished for an hour, um, and I'm, now I'm going home. And I've had three fish, and had loads of other opportunities that I didn't connect with. Um, I don't think you can really knock that, and it just goes to show the effectiveness of the Texas rig. Uh, it was catching me those little fish earlier in the day, and it's caught me that same fish uh, that, that other fish at the end of the day or in, end of the hour um so it's not it's not a rig just for big fish it's not a rig just for small fish it will catch you just about any perch that swims um i'm going to call it a day there thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one